Good morning, sir. Where are we going? Uh, we're going to go find a million dollars on a highway. Apparently. Sweet. I had to add a few layers because it actually got colder here as the sun is coming up, strangely enough. Absolutely gorgeous morning here at the Crystal Lakes. Shot a bit of the iPhone review. All right, so for the sunrise test, we're gonna really push the iPhone 14 Pro to its limits. We're here at another famous Crystal Lake spot here in the San Juan Mountains. So I'll throw some of those photos on here. Not entirely sure it's portfolio worthy or anything. We got these clear blue skies, but we got a lot of cool conditions. We got obviously the color change going on over here. We've got some nice rolling fog off the lake here, which is a little bit unique kind of cool and we've got a little bit of snow on these red peaks back here but in terms of the clear blue sky it typically means probably not a shot that's going to end up in my portfolio or anything but did the iphone review took some on the phone took some on the camera i'll throw those up on the screen after i'm done talking and uh see where the day takes us it's probably gonna take us to a coffee shop that's what i'm probably gonna do for the most part which is nice because uh clear blue skies mean i'm not feeling remorseful that i'm not out shooting because a lot of the times when you get those nice rain clouds or those thick clouds you can shoot all day here and it uh, it makes remaining productive in terms of making and producing these videos or editing photos difficult. So see you then, hope you enjoy, and uh, I'm gonna go get warm. My backpack has frosted over. So many dogs in this episode.
What are we working on? This is uh Are we grinding? Are we airdropping? This is we should we just don't stop. I can't edit photos and not airdrop them to myself. <laughs> and now we're doing it. I can't decide if it's a test to prove it I won't ever leave. Everybody knows, everybody moves. I'm turning red when I think of you. Since leaving Vegas in March, I've been on the road for almost eight months straight, and the hardest part about being on the road for me is definitely the isolation, or more just the lack of ability to create a community, or a friend group, or just long relationships that aren't fleeting. Being so transient, I'm always moving around, and it's very rare I stay anywhere for longer than a couple days, and even when I do, the relationships and friends that I meet, they're just fleeting. There are people that are now memories in my life, and it's very unlikely that I will ever see them again. So coming here to the San Juans and meeting a bunch of other photographers, people that know me, people that I know, and just mutual people that I follow online, and finally getting to meet them has been really rewarding. I've been sitting in this coffee shop, and one day someone named Jacob walked in that I semi-recognized through other friends, but I had never met him, nor I would ever really talk to him. And we just became friends, and then more of his friends showed up, and then we just kept talking about more and more stuff in the coffee shop, and I got very little work done that day, which is actually why these videos are slightly delayed, because it's been very hard to be productive when I'm socializing. Regardless, we spent the day in the coffee shop, hanging out, becoming friends, and then they invited me to come shoot with them, and come camp with them, and just in general hang out. And I know that may be very little to them, but it meant the world to me, because again, I've always lacked a sense of a creative community. I have very close best friends that I absolutely love, but I've never really had any photography friends or YouTube friends. When I met Ryan in Oregon and then he came up to Alaska, that's really been the only time I've ever shot with anyone. All of the people I've been hanging out with over the past week live a life where they're trying to grow a following. They have subscribers, they have an audience, some of them have YouTube channels, and just finding that and having people to talk to about that has been really rewarding and it means the world to me and it's been super nice and it's going to be hard to step away but i also feel like i've made some friends that if i wanted to i can just drive over and hang out and take some photos where did i go wrong 